hi techies what's going on welcome to my youtube channel code with akhil if you have not watched my previous video on the decision making statements i will highly encourage you to do that so today i'm back with a new question what are different looping concepts in c sharp so we have for loop for each loop while loop and do while loop talking about the for loop so for loop executes a statement or a block of statement repeatedly until a specified expression evaluates to false that means here you can specify starting point ending point and the increment the number of hop that you want to perform while performing any uh, iteration talking about the for each loop in case of for each loop you have to specify the collection that you want to iterate suppose i have the collection of students so thousand students are there and I want to iterate all thousand students to add some other collection. So I will be using for each statements to iterate against all thousand students. So in case of for each loop, we don't have to specify the hop count, the incremental count. So we'll see that in picture in a bit. So flipping to the Visual Studio. So talking about the for loop. So there is shorthand for the for. You can type for and tap tap, which gives you skeleton how your for loop will look like. As you can see here, we have the for loop skeleton wherein i specifies the initial value which is 0 and i is less than length. Here you can specify the number of time you want to iterate. Let me just put 100 for example. And this shows that this is your number of increment and number of hop count you want to iterate with. So I will just print i. Just to hold the screen, I will just use console dot read. Let me run the code you can see here it will iterate from 0 till 99 because you have given the condition as i is less than 100 i want the loop to iterate one after another so hop count is just one so ideally it should print as 0 1 2 3 4 like that so on up till 99 you can see that so the number of uh, hop that you can specify if I say i plus equal to 2, that means here in the to the compiler, just I'm trying to say, so it should print 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 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 2 plus 2 plus 2 like that 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. Let's just give a run to this code. As you can see here, we have we've got the hop count as to 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, and so on. So talking about the for each loop. So this is example of for loop. Talking about the for each loop. Suppose I've got one collection. So list of string. So suppose here I want to just initialize some value. Say, okay. Shiminesh Dhirendra Rajveer Snehal and any student say Muhammad. So if at all I want to print this loop inside the uh, console.write line I'll just use for each and then tap tap you can see it is giving me one variable as I know it is a collection of string so I can specify where as uh, string to be more precise and I want to iterate this list I'll just print item so as soon as I run it you can see it will iterate all the collections so in case of for each you have to specify the collection to what you want to iterate you don't need to give the hop count like for loop let me run this code and and we can see it has iterated all over the collection and it printed all the values in the list so there is very good concept in the looping thing if i talk about the for loop so uh, break and the continuous statement so coming back to this point so break talking about the break if you put break inside the for loop as soon as it satisfies the condition it executes the break statement your loop will be exited let me just put cw and loop completed i will say if i is double equal to say 10 
I just want to break loop. Let's print. So what do you think? What will be the output? Let's see that. So it iterated 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And as soon as it comes to 10, it checks this condition is satisfied. And this break line is executed. And this loop is exited. So talking about the continuous statement, continuous statement will skip the current uh, current iteration. I repeat, continuous statement will skip the current iteration. Uh, so let me replace break with the continue. So by iteration, as soon as this line will be, uh, this code is satisfied. That means uh, after eight, uh, I equal to 10, then it will uh, the control will come to this code line number 19 which is continue then this 10th iteration will be skipped you can here you can see let me go all the way to the top 0 2 4 6 8 you can see here 10 is skipped why because as soon as it come to this condition it skips the current iteration so now talking about the while statement so while is also used for iteration. So syntax goes the way, see, while tap tap, see i is less than say 100. So I will have to specify what is i. So let me make it as integer i equal to zero. I will have to initialize some value. And here I want to print say i and after printing it, I want to increment it i plus plus. So uh, things go same like for loop here, initialization, Condition tell what you want to iterate and the increment point. Let me print it. So let me give a build. You can see here. So iteration goes from 0 up till 99. And just uh, we have got another concept in the uh, while, uh, do while. We have, you can write do while. So let me just print. And then while i is less than 100 so somewhere i will have to increment it so i plus plus so here even though condition is false this statement will be executed at least once so but in case of while condition a while loop condition is checked first before it prints anything before it executes any command in case of do while it will first execute the statement at least once then it will check whether the, the condition is right or not if condition is right then it will move to the next iteration if it is wrong then it will it will exit the loop so watching <clears throat> so thanks for watching this video in the next video we will see what are four pillars of object oriented programming so up till now if you have not subscribed to this channel i will highly encourage you to do that also share the link with your friends so, so that this video series will be helpful for them as well.